Hello and welcome to Bams Tutors. Today I'll be teaching set operations. Uh, there are four common operations on set. They are the union, the intersection, complement and difference of a set. But today I'll be talking about the intersection and the union of a set. But before I do that, let's have a brief understanding of what a universal set is. I'm sure you must have been hearing this in your set theory class. A universal set usually depicted by uh, you or he to mean entity. Sometimes it can be written as this or simply a big U. is a set that contains all sets under consideration for a particular study. So for instance, we have a study on colors. The universal set will consist of all the colors that we know. If we are talking about cars, the universal set will be all the different brands of sets that perhaps we know are available in that particular study. So now, the topic of the day, the intersection and the union of a set. Let's say we have two sets, A and B, and set A contains letters in grid, as G, R, A, D, and E. And set B contains letters in grid, as G, R, E, A, and T. Now, the intersection of a set written as A intersection B is a third set that contains all elements which are in both A and B. That means the elements that are common to both A and B. Now, this is why some students mix it all together with union. An intersection means and, which means something that is common to the two of them. While the union of a set means all elements of A or B or both. Now, with intersection, the elements must be in both A and B. But with union, the element may be in either A or B or B in both. So let's write out the intersection for these two sets A and B now. A intersection B will be the third set written as A intersection B because the element common to the two of them. So let's see, G is common, we write that out, separated with a comma. Is R common to the two of them? Yes. R, we have R here. Yeah. A is also common to the two of them, so we write that out. Or let's see another element that is common to the two of them. Is D? No. E, yes, E is also common to the two of them, so we write it out. So the intersection of A and B is G, R, A, and D. Now let's say the A union B. Now what I tell students is so that you don't confuse yourself, since there is no order in set theory and we don't repeat elements in a set. First write out the element of the set. First set. Now here is A. The elements here A, G, R, A, D, E. Then you move to the next set. But don't forget that there should be no repetition. So any element that's already present in A should not be written again. G is already present, so R also present. A, or E, sorry, E is present already. A, present. T, no. So we write that again. We write that out. So now you can see that this A union B contains the ele every element in A can be found here. Great. Every element in B, great, can be found here. And also, every element in A intersection B can also be found here without repetition. So that's the difference between A intersection B and A union B. Let me take a real life example. We are familiar with um, R and B music, R being rhythm and B being blues. So now we have R being set of uh, musicians whose style of music can be classified as uh, rhythm. Chris Jones, Alicia Keys, and Chris Brown. Yeah, this set is uh, actually indefinite. B to be blues, uh, Alicia Keys, Ruth Brown, and Chris Brown again. Now, our intersection B, our intersection B will be people who sing both reading and blues. Now, let's say Alicia Keys, Alicia Keys. So, we have Alicia Keys here. Also, we have Chris Brown, and we have Chris Brown, and Chris Brown. So, you get the logic. They both have to, they have to sing the Rhythm and blues to be classified as R and B musicians. So now 
let's say R intersection B union B will now be all the musicians who sing either rhythm or blues or they sing both R and B. So that will be the list of all musicians in our set. So we have Grace Jones, we have Alicia Keys, Chris Brown, Alicia Keys again, so we don't have to write it again. We have our Ruth Brown. And Chris Brown has already been iterating, so we close our, our set. And that's that on intersection and union of a set. You can watch out for more videos, more examples on intersection and union of a set. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.